Hey everyone, today we are going to create this cinematic look in DaVinci Resolve without using any extra plugins. This is the node tree that we have. We have 7 nodes right here. I will reset that. So first I will do a CST node where I will convert this S log footage into X709. So I will choose this color space transform and input color space I will choose S gamut. These are the settings I used in my camera. It's an S log 3 footage, so we will choose in input gamma S log 3 and we want to convert it into Rec 709. So we will use the Rec 709 output. Same for gamma. And we will keep it at the end, this node at the very end because I want final video to be in Rec 709. I will create another node. This will be our color temperature or white balance, you can say. So first we want to adjust, there's too much blue in our footage, so we want to decrease it. Maybe one watch here and tint. So I can get a clean separation in between these colors. The next node will be contrast. So in this I will adjust the brightness and exposure and overall. So I will go into HDR panel because it's very helpful and it's keep the quality of video. This global wheel works just like in camera exposure. So I uh, will decrease that right around but here and we will decrease the shadows because our main subject is this light. We want it to pop up in overall video and maybe decrease this dark part a little bit. Now about here we have enough contrast. So next node will be color in which I will give different intensity or saturation to each hue. So for that I will go into hue versus hue and hue versus saturation curve. In hue versus hue, I can change each hue to different hue. I will bring the red down a little bit so I can get clean yellows here and bring this up so it's more towards golden, like in between red and yellow. And mark these two. So see this green part here, I want to decrease it down. And for this cyan, I will increase it because I want to give it a cool effect. And for this, I uh, maybe a little bit towards cyan round watch here not too much yeah and we can see this is the difference we made before it was too much blue and now it's more towards greenish blue and we can bring this up to match the cyan and blue you see it's affecting this curve next we will go into hue versus saturation mark all color points in our footage and after that bring the saturation up this one more and maybe bring it up to and you can change the settings as you want it's totally up to you so this is the difference that we made using this color next node will be the light rays so for this i will name it light i want to add a lighter here so i will go into effects and i will search light rays one thing i want to clear that it's not in free DaVinci Resolve, it's in DaVinci Resolve Studio version. So make sure you are using the DaVinci Resolve Studio. And for this, I will choose at an angle and for threshold, I will decrease that. So I can get only highlights from this street lamp right here. And I will increase the length. Soften it and maybe bring it down. Yeah, round watch here. Soft brightness. I will increase the gamma. It's affecting more than bring it down to only this lamp. Saturation here. Yeah. I think it's fine here. We don't have to add any in the other color. Next thing we will use the film look creator to give it a desired low. So I will name it FLC. This is also plugin for this DaVinci is all studio version so I will go into a full C film look right here so in this we have different settings that are already applied so first I will disable all of these I will keep the crane and in this I will choose cinematic and here I will bring it round watch here 
we have to adjust different setting to get a desired look i want to give it right here and the tint more like towards here and for saturation increase both i will enable split toning so what split toning does it adds certain color into highlights and into the shadows so at this point it's adding yellow to our highlights and blue to the shadows so this is the difference it's making right now we can change the preview point to make the anchor point of the split toning i will keep it right here it's making minor changes to our video but it's fine we want that yeah i think here we could and i will decrease the grain a little bit next i will add a blood to add a little bit of contrast in our footage so i will go into film looks and i will use d65 and for this i will decrease the intensity of it to maybe 0.1 And this is it so we moved from this to this one thing more i want to add a little bit of tint to give it a greenish look maybe around watch here and now this will be our final results this is it if you have any question you can comment below the video and you can also book a one-on-one -on -one session with me uh, on fiverr or on instagram by name post by habib and thanks for being here take care